My beautiful friends it's Amanda here and it is already time for my July favorites I have to be honest I'm thrilled because that means that it's almost August which means it's almost September which means it's almost fall record high heat aside fall is my favorite season so I'm always ready to be done with summer but especially this summer I have a lot of new favorites this month and I have a lot of non makeup favorites this month so let's start with the non-makeup favorites. I have one entirely not beauty product. This thing has helped me so much. As you likely correctly assume, I spend a lot of time at my computer. I spend a lot of time editing. I have one of those little flat trackpad things for my mouse and my wrist was hurting so badly until I got this thing. I don't know why I didn't get one of these sooner. Certainly based on my age and the fact that I have used computers for so long, I probably, I probably everybody my age has carpal tunnel at this point, but my hand got to the point where it was constantly hurting. My wrist would be in pain. My hand would like go numb. Should probably talk to a doctor about that, but instead I got this really cute little wrist rest thing. It's a little fluffy pastel cloud and it's a little bit squishy but so it's comfortable but it has enough structure that it actually supports my hand and my arm. There's a bunch of different colors. I believe all the different colors had different prices as well so I will link this in the description box so that you can go and check out my little wrist guard and see what the day-to-day -day prices are. You know how Amazon is. The prices can change at any given moment, but I love this little thing. It was worth every penny. I wish that I had bought it sooner. If your wrist is hurting, if you're spending a lot of time on your computer, definitely get one of these, even if you don't get this one. This has been life-changing for me, so you deserve for your hands not to hurt. Check this out. I have a favorite nail polish for the month. It is not the one that I'm wearing right now. I still have my Barbie pink nails on. They're actually really messed up and I'm about to repaint them, but this is what I wore for the first half of the month. This is an Orly polish called Up All Night. It is the most beautiful silvery gray. I absolutely love it. It looks so good on. It wears so well. I feel like it's going to look good on everyone. It's polished and interesting, but it's still like work appropriate if you have the type of professional environment where they don't want you to wear bright nails or if you're just the type of person that doesn't like to wear really, really colorful nail polish. This is a interesting neutral, and I think that this would look cool for an event too, for something more formal. So I love this polish. I really like oily polishes in general, and I'm fighting the urge to put this back on. But I have a daytime event to go to, so I'm probably going to put on something a little bit lighter, but I really like this one. My next favorite is a skincare favorite. I can't remember if I've talked about these in a favorites before or if I just mentioned it in my packing video. These things are magical. This is the original Hero Mighty Patch. This is what it looks like. It's so clear that once it's on your skin, you can barely even notice it. Even if I just feel a blemish coming on, let alone if I can see one, I put one of these little patches over it and the next morning, at least for me, it's been practically gone or completely disappeared. I'm gonna show you a video clip of me using one of these. So this is your warning, this is your trigger warning. If you are sensitive to gross stuff, skin stuff, whatever, it's not that intense, but I just feel like I can't throw this up on the screen without warning you. I am going to now put a video of me removing one of these patches and showing you the gunk that's trapped inside of it. I had a blemish that popped up right at the end of my eyebrow and it was hurting. It was one of those, you know, when it's in a certain spot, it just, it hurts. I put that patch on it and the video that you're watching is the next morning. You could still see like a little red spot where the blemish had been, but it was already completely flat because you could see the patch had like sucked out all the pus junk. And by the end of that day, it was pretty much gone. The good thing is when it's flattened out like that, once you put makeup over it, you can't see it at all. 
Whereas if you have that little residual like texture, the bump, it's you can't really cover it up. You can cover up the color but not the texture. Anyway, these things are magical. I love them. I buy the huge pack. I use these all the time. I realize that they might not work that well for everybody. It says discontinue if rash occurs. So I, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an esthetician. I'm not a dermatologist. I'm just telling you, I love these things. They work so well for me. Speaking of that travel video that I mentioned, I did do a video packing my travel makeup bag and these two items were in that video. First of all, just this clear makeup bag. I put my brushes and tools and stuff in this top flat component and this holds more than enough for me for makeup, tools and brushes, and my mini skincare all fit in this. Enough for at least a week if not a 10 day trip. I love this thing. Shiny and iridescent and rose gold and easy to clean and not that expensive so I love this little makeup bag. And even more impressive to me is this little brush bubble sponge holder. This is a flexible silicone sponge holder. It has vents so if you put your sponge in here when it's damp it won't stay soggy and get moldy and it also protects your sponge from getting squished and warped and getting makeup all over it once it's packed. I would always travel with my sponge just in a little like Ziploc bag and it would always get crushed. It would always get a weird mascara mark on it or something. So this is the travel item that I didn't know I needed and now I'm never going to travel without it. Okay, let's get into the makeup now. I realized that I talked for so long about non-makeup products, but that's just how favorites go. I am going to show you some of these favorites in action because I'm wearing a bunch of them. This has been my little easy go-to look all month long when I don't want to think too hard, I don't want to try too hard, I don't want to spend too much time, but I still want to feel pulled together and sparkly and magical. I'm just wearing SPF and a skin tint and then blush on my face. This is definitely my favorite blush of the month. These are the Instant Crush blushes. I did do a whole video on these a few weeks ago when they launched with swatches of all the colors. These are my two favorites. Bali Baby is the shade that I'm wearing today. This is a lovely little neutral rose color. It's such an easy go-to for me and it looks good with whatever eye look I want. And I also really like this coral color called Poppy. When I'm doing something a little brighter, bolder, a little more summery, I go for Poppy. When I'm keeping it a little bit more low key, wanting something a little bit more neutral, I go for Bali Baby. I won't talk about these too much because I already raved about them so much in the review video, but I really like these. They wear beautifully. They apply easily. They have great longevity. And I don't usually like matte blushes on me, on my dry skin but these just aren't flat matte and they're so pretty I really like them I like them a lot let's move on to lips I have two lip products and they are both from the drugstore this lipstick is from the L'Oreal Color Riche line it's the shade nonchalant I also did a whole lip swatch video with this entire line of the Color Riche lipsticks I really like them in general the formula is beautiful but this is my favorite color it's the one I reach for the most. I just love how neutral but rich this color is. And it's very flattering on me if I do say so myself. My other favorite is from the Lifter Gloss line. I have been a longtime fan of the Maybelline Lifter Glosses, but this is sort of a new love for me. I would always reach for the shade Stone or the shade Heat. This one is opal. It's a lot more subtle, but I had tossed this one in my purse. And then when I went to see the Barbie movie with my in real life friend, Amy, you may know from YouTube as Amy Loves Makeup, we both pulled out our lip gloss after dinner to touch up after eating before the movie. And we both had this exact same lip gloss and it just made me so happy. So this is definitely a great memory now attached to this particular lip gloss and I've really enjoyed wearing it. I like all the lifter glosses, but this month Opal was my girl. Now moving on to eyes, probably not a surprise to anybody. My favorite palette of the month is this fighter palette from Fantasy Cosmetica. 
I love the packaging. I love the shades. I love the formulas. I really love everything that Fantasy Cosmetica does. Even when they make color stories that aren't my personal favorite, I still understand the vision. This is the type of color story that makes me excited about neutrals. I also talked about this in a recent Indie Palette Roundup video. It's also a great companion palette. I feel like it works especially well with my Druid palette, which is not only my favorite Fantasy Cosmetica palette, but also my favorite palette of the year last year. See what I mean? Don't those look pretty together? Like these colors are just sending me straight to fall and that's what I want. That's what I want to happen. My other eyeshadow favorite is what I'm wearing in today's video. It is a two shadow combo that I have been reaching for so much this month because it is super easy, very mindless, lazy makeup, which when I only have a few minutes to get ready or I'm just kind of going about my daily business, I don't always want to or have the time to sit down for 30, 40, 60 minutes and do my makeup. So I just grab a few things and go. And the combo that I'm wearing is my all-time favorite transition shade. It's this shadow shroom from my Flora Story palette. This is the perfect neutral crease color for me. That's why I created it and put it in that palette because it is literally the shade I always want for a look like this. And then all over my lid is this Lethal Cosmetics Pure Metals Single Shadow in the shade Alloy. It's this gorgeous neutral silvery pink. I don't know how to describe it because it doesn't look silver, but it doesn't look pink, but it doesn't not look like those colors. It's just the perfect neutral combo, but it still looks so pretty and mesmerizing and it takes literally a minute and a half to do this eye look. So I love it. I love this combo. I've been wearing it so much and every time I've worn this eyeshadow at least one person says, oh wow your eyeshadow is so pretty. It's so sparkly. What is it? So that's my favorite little two shadow look from the month. The look is completed with this gorgeous mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Lift Mascara. I think it's so sad that this mascara had to get such a controversy around it because it's really, really, really good. But I feel like this legacy will always be clouded with at least a little bit of TikTok controversy, which I mean, I guess it's 2023. Most things are, right? <laughs> but this mascara is truly so pretty. It looks so good. My lashes look so long, so dark, so lifted so curled. It hasn't flaked on me at all. It looks so good all day. My bottom lashes are honestly like out of control with one coat of this mascara. My top lashes have two. The hype is actually genuinely really real for this mascara. A lot of drugstore favorites this month. These are some of my most used, most loved products from the month. I would love to hear what you enjoyed. It doesn't have to be makeup stuff. Tell me what you're reading, what you're watching, what you're snacking on. Got a new favorite pair of shoes or anything like that. I always love to hear what you're enjoying and what you think about things too. So make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So many neutrals. Such a neutral girl. Mm. Mm. Oh, sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. I'm an adult. I really want to do another look with these warmer colors. I actually have some super cute fall earrings that would look, these would kind of look good with these colors too. Okay, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Rain it in. Oh, what does that girl got to do to find a makeup wipe around here? I put the cute pretty sponge in the brush bubble, but this is what they really look like. I actually need to wash my sponges and my brushes really badly. Be better than me. Wash your brushes more often than I do. What was I talking about? Hello, was this thing on? Loved and in, and, and, mm, mm. I was gonna film another video, but I am mentally exhausted and I feel like I need to just listen to my brain when it says, okay, that's enough. You should be done now. 
I filmed like four videos yesterday. I'm going on, on a trip. By the time you see this, I'll already be back because I'm pre-filming a bunch of stuff for my trip. Yeah, I'm just going to do more videos later when I get back. It'll be fun. This is like the YouTuber version of packing twice as much underwear as you need. I always try to film so many extra videos because I don't know if I'm going to get delayed on my trip or whatever it may be. So I always over prepare. And I know what you're thinking. No, I'm not a Virgo. <laughs> I'm just an oldest daughter. Anyway, I'm going to go um, make some dinner. I don't know what I'm going to have yet. Usually I have it planned out, but today I don't know what I'm making. But my kid's been really into trying to cook more and interested in trying new foods, especially when he makes them. So I'll see what he wants to make. Maybe he'll cook with me tonight. Could be fun. Could also be really weird, but it could be fun. Okay, I'll see you later. I love your face so much. Okay, bye.